Okay, so here is the teardrop. We parked it there, moved the car over so we could have good access to all the kitchen stuff. Corey is the expert in tracking it. Super essential. You know, it's a little more flat here, but in some of the mountainous areas that we were, absolutely essential. We were very coordinated with our Cory holding it, me chalking it with uh, these guys. Got it chalked and locked. <laughs> oh, I can see in the porthole. <laughs> so there's our porthole. There's our sherry. You got the roof rack on top. The solar and our max fan. Okay, front hitches to the car. That. We got the spare tire added. And the big old box for holding all our dirty stuff. We got some spare water, tools, bags. But we'll put our uh, like chairs and other stuff in there for travel. But then when we're all set up, it's a nice place to keep some of this stuff. As well. We got the second door, which we love because we can both get in and out. A big window on this side for extra ventilation. Over here is our nighttime toilet. Very nice. Sherry appreciates. privacy. <laughs> so this is our living quarters here. We've got our lounge area and then our kitchen area. And what's worked fantastically, it's been, it's been fun to find some stuff that we already own and being able to like repurpose it different ways. This was from a wedding photography booth that we used. It happened to be an outdoor rug. And here it's essential because the dirt is so dry and just kind of kicks up everywhere. So we laid this down, flattened it out with some rocks and it works perfect. We've got our joint little lounge chair. So it's perfect couch for one person. And we've got our fireplace here, um, just nice. Corey found this with um, that sense of top propane. So no embers, perfect for the dry desert area. All right, so for the galley here, give it an open. Our wonderful kitchen. The best, one of the best things about this is being able to just pull up, put the chocks under, pop it open, and we've got like everything pretty much ready to go. This stuff is kind of like a nice to have, the lounge area, but really it's just fantastic to be able to pop it open and have everything we need. And uh, we've tested leaving stuff in here and driving and even going down this crazy dirt road we still were able to keep everything in place minus like a couple of these things sitting on top here but everything else stayed put even these loose dishes didn't pop out it was awesome so here's our drawer awesome for storing our silverware and knives this is our cookware measuring cups and it just fits everything perfectly keeps it all nice and tucked away and really just well built. Thanks, Ben, to Teardrop. <laughs> it stays in place, doesn't slide open or anything like that. You give it a little tug and it opens pretty nicely. Um, over here, this has been like our cooktop surface. Awesome that it's got this metal plate here because it really protects the wood. Um, so we can do whatever food prep there. Uh, we've got it opening in two different ways. So we kind of customized and chose not just to have it opening from the top, but also from down here. So if you've got all your cookware set out here, you can still open it up to get our stuff down here. So just opens up this way, little tug. Come on, take a peek in. So we've got a couple little bins to keep um, different cookware in here and things that we might need. Um, teapot, coffee pot, excuse me. Um, wash glass, drying towels, disinfection wipes if it's needed. Just odds and ends. We're still trying to figure out how to organize everything. So it's a work in progress. Right. And then we've got open space over here uh, to the left. That's where we can tuck our trash in at night just so it's not out in the open for any of the animals. Um, and then, Corey, you want to take a peek down in there? The other galley opens up from the side as well. And then down here, we have our wash bin. Got a solar converter, our battery, our sink and soap dispenser, and then we got a backup power battery pulling from the solar right now. 
All right, so this is our handy dandy sink here. Um, we've got a little pump here. We put our camp suds in um, so we can wash our hands, the dishes, anything really, um, and just fill up a little bit of water in there. Um, we've also got, just because we're in the desert, trying to conserve some water, and we've got some hand sanitizer um, to be able to just wash our hands if that's needed. What's really nice is it's a gravity fed sink that Coleman jug gets filled. You just twist it to turn on, twist it to turn off. It gives a nice little spray for water. And it can, this controls the flow, so you can have it a stronger flow or um, uh, just a trickle if you're just rinsing something off. And then this is a total shut off. Yeah. All right, so let's show you our cozy quarters. Hello, welcome to our humble abode, <laughs> cozy teardrop. So as you can see here, we've got our cozy bed, our pillow we had to get to Christmas again, our nest. Um, up here, we've got awesome little spots like cup holders, keep our water bottles, put little hooks for our keys. Since it's still just past Christmas season, I made this little Christmas tree for our trip. So hanging out there. And up here we've got spots to keep like all the things that we need to access when we're laying in bed. So hairbrush, gloves, <laughs> since it's been a little chilly, our contacts, chapstick. And then something we found essential camping, doing winter camping, are these awesome, like super absorbent towels because we have to wipe down the walls of the camper and the windows because the condensation that happens. So, because we've been enjoying some lovely mid-teens <laughs> degree temps at night. Um, thankfully here now in the desert, it's been in the 30s, so a little bit warmer, but still these are these are essential. So pop those back up there. Um, we've got, well, COVID times, hanging some masks up here when we were camping in the Grand Canyon and needed uh, for the public bathroom. So really quick, easy access. So love all those uh, command strip hooks. All right, so over here we've got our bunk. So this kind of doubles as a place to keep all our clothes. We bought these bins um, to put our clothes for two weeks in here, then our hiking backpacks, um, some odds and ends like our soap and body wipes and things like that. Of course, necessary yarns like everywhere, <laughs> just like home. Little baskets to keep our cords and our Kindles in. And then underneath we've got storage to put extra things like we've got, probably, ugh, I can't reach. <sighs> we've got extra chairs underneath there, our um, side awning tent if we needed that, but we're really enjoying the sun now. So we'll tuck our jackets and things under there at night, just like this, it keeps it all there. And then up here, we've got our indoor voltage meter, DC. That I've got an electric blanket set up so that we can stay a little warmer at night. Up here are our switches. That's our internal lights. And then we've got switches for the external on both sides. I'll show those once it gets a little more twilighty. And then up here is our max fan. It can go in, can go out. A little vent pop opens and closes there. Porthole on this side. We opted for the bigger sliding screen window over there. Both doors have really nice pop-up screens, so we can really get this ventilated if need be in the summertime. When we picked up this little guy, it shows our indoor-outdoor temperature. Really nice to have, so we can see what our humidity level is in versus out of the cabin know what to expect when we open the doors. So now we just wanted to show you our like bedding situations. So you can see how we stay warm in 19 degree weather at night. And when the cabin is like mid 20s, maybe 30s, we've got lots of layers. So uh, the thing that we do on the top is this blanket back here. It's a really awesome Sherpa fleece. So that lays both sides for us on the top. Then we've got this quilt. Let me show you the layers. So first layer is the quilt. Second layer is this other fleece Sherpa blanket. And then under here, Corey's fantastic idea. It's a small heated blanket, so it just goes from here to here. 
but right at our core. That's what plugs in up here. And we heat that up like a half an hour before bed. And then we've got our sheet and our pillows. And you can see in the back <laughs> background here, we've got our boot bags. So when we come inside, we so we don't get the dust everywhere, we put our boots in a bag and toss it right underneath. Okay, so underneath everything, we've got this ventilating mat that keeps the mattress from being right on the wood to prevent condensation. We've got, a, I think it's a six inch foam trifold mattress. And then a one inch memory foam topper. And then a protective pillow top cushy. cushy. And then our sheets are on top of that. So we sleep on a cloud. We do. <laughs> and it's pretty cozy. So both sets of doors have this nice little clip here. I don't know how to do this on camera. There we go. Little clip goes in. It keeps the door from flying around if there's a breeze. All right, so now getting out, don't want to step into the dirt. And for me, I'm a little shorter, so we've got this little stool here on the side so I can just grab my shoes and pop them on. Easy peasy. So that's the tour of our little teardrop home. Been in here five days so far. Mm -hmm. It's been a fair share of challenges uh, to overcome with weather and ice and snow and directions but so we've loved it yeah it's been good it's a mix of fun and challenges and gets us outdoors gives us a chance to just be wherever and yeah journey together so it's been fun to have some new adventures and just get a break from normal life mm -hmm. but we're gonna go take a hike and we'll see you guys soon